So what we've got here is the uh, V11 slider that's custom made to sit inside the channel and that channel being measured at 4.2 mil across, 2.1 high and 7 long with tapered edge as we insert it. We've got two different sets here. This one is 0.1 of a millimeter longer so let's measure them up so we can see. So these are sitting at 2.24. Let's measure another couple to give us a baseline. 2.23 just the same and 2.2 so that's our baseline. Let's compare them to this version. These are sitting slightly smaller at 1.99 2.08 and 2.02. Let's get these fatter ones inserted into the channel and we'll see how they fit. So a special thing to note is these holes align perfectly to the channel. Obviously this does not go in this way, it goes in from behind but just to show. We can see that it's sitting snug, let's put it on the right way. The tolerances on these are very tight and very snug for them to fit inside. But they do fit. The way I like to install them is to push them in most of the way, align up the back hole, get the back hole in and then run your hand up and bow it in a sense and then snap it in. Now we got all four in, let's get it on the wheel and see what it's like and special note of course these do have the tapered slide in edge just in here so it should slide in really easy. These rail slides are especially important if your original ones have been chewed up and you're starting to scrape on the aluminium. This wheel has taken a beating and this is about my fourth set. I usually line them up by standing in front of the wheel and looking down and you can just peer down the channel holes over here and here to see where it aligns and then you can push it down. Look at that. That slipped on pretty good. This is quite tight for a first run. It's actually a little tighter than what I'd like, but it'll wear in. Actually, it's not too bad. This is actually perfect. And there's absolutely no movement now. That's awesome. So that is on, there's no movement. It is a little bit stiff, but they have just been acetone to glue the pins in. So I suspect that will run in smooth. So as we look at the base of the wheel, what the most important thing is the spacing of here and here is even and consistent and there's no horizontal movement. So we've just got a slight bit of movement. That's about as much as we want. And I think I'll call that the end of this video. Thank you, Bob. Drop in a bit of silicone spray, any stuff will do. We can see those white pretty ABS sliders in there looking real clean. So I just put a bit of silicone spray and I got no air so it's fallen to the bottom. With no air in the chamber, this is extremely light and very easy to slide. That is absolutely perfect. 80 psi in the bottom chambers on both of them because my top ones have both blown out and we've got nice smooth